Hello, my name's Luke Undler and I'm really excited to have been invited along by all you children and teachers and staff involved with the Elliott Foundation who have invited me along to be part of this wonderful project to share a book with you today. And the book I'm going to share is called Calm Down Zebra and it's about my friend Zebra. I brought a little zebra along with me today. It's actually not the first book I've written about zebra. The first book I wrote about zebra was called Not Yet Zebra and in that book zebra caused chaos when he was trying to learn his alphabet or his friend Annie was trying to learn her alphabet. But in the second book, Calm Down Zebra, he's causing chaos while Annie is trying to paint because Zebra can be a weeny bit naughty and I think we're going to see that in this book. So look out for some Zebra mischief. And the book is written by me, Lou Kunzler, and the wonderful illustrations, which I think you're really, really going to enjoy, the beautiful pictures are drawn by my friend, Julia Wolfe. So let's have a look at the story, Calm Down Zebra. Annie, there she is, said to the animals, let's help baby Joe. He's learning his colours, which he doesn't yet know. I'll paint pictures of you. Please line up for me. If I use the right colours, then Joe will soon see. So she's asking all the animals to bring paint in the colour that they are. So this little bluebird would bring some blue. A flamingo would bring some pink. An orangutan, a sort of monkey, would bring some orange. An elephant, she would bring some grey, wouldn't she? So Annie said, um, I'll paint pictures of you. Please line up for me. If I use the right colours, then Joe will soon see. Frog, fetch the... Hmm, what colour might you want for frog? Frog, fetch the green paint. That's perfect. Well done. And lion. You're yellow, as bright as the sun. Next, I'll paint cat, as black as the night. But goodness me, polar bear, you don't look bright. Oh dear, what's happened to polar bear? That's right, she's covered in great big pink stripes. Hmm, who can possibly have painted stripes on someone else? I wonder. Hmm. You're supposed to be plain, like the ice or the snow. Those crazy pink lines will confuse Baby Joe. The sheep and the llamas were all just as bad. Someone had gone completely stripe mad. Hmm. Can you see who it might be? Who's painted all these stripes on the sheep and the llamas? Mm, who do you think it might be hiding in there? Mm, exactly. Who did this? Asked Annie. But it was easy to guess. Her old stripy friend was behind all the mess. Joe wriggled and giggled. He clapped with delight. But Annie said firmly, No, Joe, it's not right. Orangutan's orange. She should not be bright blue. Calm down, Zebra. This just will not do. But Cheetah had joined in, giving everyone spots, just like he's got on him, spotty Cheetah. While Lima did rings. Mm, like on her tail. She's got rings all round her tail, hasn't she? So she's drawn rings on everyone. But Cheetah had joined in giving everyone spots while Lima did rings and Dalmatian did dots. Behave, Annie warned. Please all just calm down. Do not copy Zebra. He is being a clown. But then Annie saw there was still worse to come. Zebra had painted on elephants Annie tried to look cross, but she started to laugh and she couldn't stop grinning when she spotted a giraffe. 
Doesn't giraffe look gorgeous with all those flowers painted all over her? Oh, peacock, cried Annie, eyes wide with surprise. He was silver and gold like a glittering prize. Doesn't he look beautiful, shimmering? Gorgeous. Annie looked all around at what Zebra had done. It was wild and colourful, zany and fun. Oh, Zebra, she cheered. You were right from the start. Joe should choose his own colours. Let's all make some art. So she handed out pictures in plain black and white, saying, colour them in however you like. But there was plain drawings and all the animals are going to do whatever they want to the picture. That'll be fun, won't it? <gasps> Look, they're all colouring exactly what they want to colour. Lima's doing rings, of course. <laughs> Cheetah's doing some spots. Flamingo's going wild with some blue paint. That looks fun. Huh, and giraffe's gone green. <laughs> then Joe took a paint pot, and Zebra did too. Joe started with green, and Zebra picked blue. They painted each other from their heads to their toes, two shimmering, glimmering, stripy rainbows. I don't think that's what Annie meant. I think she meant for them to paint on the paper, but still, it looks like fun. Why don't you paint a picture of your favourite animal and paint it whatever colour you like? If your favourite animal is a lion, you don't have to paint it yellow. You can paint it purple with red spots if you want to, whatever you fancy. If your favourite animal's a dinosaur, what colour might a dinosaur be? I don't think we even know what colour dinosaurs were, so we could make up our own minds. You could paint a zebra, and instead of black and white stripes, you could do, I don't know, yellow and green stripes, or zigzags, or rings. Who had rings on their tail? Do you remember the name of the animal who had rings on her tail? A lemur, that's right. And who had dots and spots? Cheetah and Dalmatian. Perfect. Oh, perhaps you could paint a beautiful picture of a peacock, like the one that we saw shimmering and glimmering right in the middle of the book. Perhaps you could write your own story about your favourite animal too, and do all the pictures, just like Julia did all the pictures for my story. But most of all, now that you're going to get a copy of Calm Down Zebra to read for yourself, why don't you read it again and again until you really know the story well, because that can really help with reading and you'll notice this story is in rhyme so each at the end of the line the rhyme the the words rhyme like zebra had done zany and fun done and fun rhyme don't they or start and art on this page rhyme so all the words at the end of the lines rhyme the sheep and the llamas were all just as bad Someone had gone completely stripe mad. And that can be really good when you're reading a book because it can really help you guess some of the words that might come next. Maybe have a go at writing your own rhyming story about an animal and draw the pictures. That will keep you busy. But whatever happens, make sure that you read the books that the wonderful Elliot Foundation have um, arranged for you to have today. And I hope you've enjoyed me sharing my reading of Calm Down Zebra. And I'm pleased to say this zebra has behaved himself quite well for once. Enjoy your reading. Bye.